now back to another related question with the uh, dynamis uh, tactical flathead. Earlier, before we made that for, for Dom and his crew, we were cutting out the water jet steel blanks and there was a lot of wasted steel between the hatchets. And right. so I thought, well, we need to make something to utilize this steel. And so I'd been watching a TV show called The Walking Dead. And I thought, well, gee, I ought to make a walker spike. You know, that's <laughs> kind of cool. People like that kind of thing. I don't know anybody will want one. And so uh, we cut out a bunch of them and we did leather handle wraps and, and made them. And they got really, really popular. So much so that we couldn't cut enough out of the wasted areas in the other cuts anymore. And we had to cut full sheets of steel out of them. And then Dom came in wanting his tactical flathead. So we changed the head to a screwdriver for him and, and made them for several years. And then when our backlog got so bad, we realized that where our bottlenecks were and what was preventing us from making knives and hatchets for some of the professional communities was we were spending so much time on these very small detailed accessory products like flathead and it took just as much time in our bottlenecks to make them as it did you know the hatchet or the full-size knife so we had to make the difficult decision to stop manufacturing them for a while 